Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today I'm going to be talking about everything that you need to know about Valorant Champions in Los Angeles as well as some news regarding next year uh, for VCT which is pretty exciting. And speak of that, let's actually start off with, uh, with next year because we have one out of possibly two Masters events announced, that being Shanghai. So... Valorant will be going to Shanghai for maybe the second or the first Masters event. We're not really too sure if there's going to be multiple or not. Uh, I would like to see multiple. Um, maybe two, maybe three, maybe even four. Actually, I think four might be stretching a bit, including with champions, but not really too sure what what um, Valorant's plan is for next year. All we know is that this is the only thing that is, that is confirmed, which is Valorant Masters will be going to Shanghai on to the second international event of the 2024 uh, VCT season. So that basically confirms that this will be the second Masters event. So basically, this, this will be Masters 2, uh, Shanghai, which is very, very, very exciting. Obviously, it says that with the launch of Valorant in China, we wanted to bring one of the be uh, one of the biggest esports events on the VCT calendar to our newest community. Over the past months, teams from the region have begun to leave their mark on the international stage, most recently with EDGs. Uh, incredible run at Master Tokyo. That was also a big thing that definitely put China on the map. Shanghai has played host to legendary esports events like the 2020 League of Legends World Championship and will have many surprises in store for fans attending in person and watching online, which is pretty exciting. Um, uh, it will take place in late spring of 2023 and will feature the best team. Well, sorry, will feature the best teams from each region's international league and qualifiers events. Uh, we'll be sharing. Uh, we'll be sharing additional details about the format, venue location, and tickets in the in the coming months. So that's really exciting, um, especially for me as well because I'll be able to watch the, the um, this Masters over in Shanghai because it's close to 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 Australia, which is which is a good sign, but. Yeah, I think this is a great side uh, for Valorant to, to to continue to grow in China. We already have three Chinese teams competing in Champions this year in Los Angeles. And EDG, they have a pretty good chance. As for Fun Plus Phoenix and Billy Billy Gaming, uh, maybe mid-pack at best. Uh, I don't really have a lot of faith in them, but in Edward Gaming, they could maybe surprise some people. Maybe top 10, maybe, maybe even top 5 even, uh, if they really turn it up. So, really excited about about Masters 2 Shanghai. Really excited. Um, we'll see where the other Master event is going to be. If I have to maybe take a guess, maybe oh, maybe somewhere in EMEA, maybe. I'm not really too sure. Somewhere maybe in Europe. Uh, since we haven't had one since uh, Turkey in Istanbul. Unless you, count, unless you don't count that. You count uh, Denmark over in Copenhagen. Uh, so... Could we possibly could we possibly see like the ME region having a Masters event and the Americas having Champions again, or will it be switched? I have no idea. I I don't know what the planning is going to be like, but I'm really interested to see how that goes. So yeah, Master Shanghai, really excited, and um, I will see. I'll, I'll try and also update all of you um when more detail are announced. Let's now talk about everything that you need to know about Los Angeles and Champions, because obviously this is the last biggest event in VCT season until we get into game changes over in Sao Paulo, Brazil, even though that's not really Sao Paulo. Well, actually, I think it might be, but it's in the Riot Game Studio, so it only, so only house like 50 people, so not a lot, I'll be honest, sadly, which I hate. But obviously, this is the final event of the 2023 VCT season and representing uh, the, the competitive Valorant season. We have to get the top teams from around the world battle through their respective international leagues and regional qualifiers earn one of the 16 spots at the largest international event of the year, um, if you don't count locked in. Uh, from August 6th to, to the 26th, qualified teams will, uh, will converge in Los Angeles to compete for the Champions Trophy and the title of Valorant World Champion. So how to attend? There'll be two different uh, uh, places or events that we'll say, or well, venues, I should say. That's that's what I try to look for. The group section, the bracket stage, that will happen in the Shrine Expo Hall. So that will be basically majority of of the season, or well, well, I should say of the tournament. It will be it will be it will be in there. It will be in the Shrine Expo Hall. I cannot speak today, and I hate it. Um, until we get into the upper bracket finals and the lower bracket semifinals, which will be in the Kia Forum uh, venue, which I think there's, there's also there's a picture down here for it, and you can also get tickets as well down here, so if you if you want that. But that's what it looks like. Obviously, we have the Shrine Expo Hall right here on the left, and the Kia Forum on the right. That is where every team is aiming to go at. 
And I am really interested to see how the energy is in that in that uh, venue. Because I think the energy in that venue is going to be amazing. It's probably not going to be like Sub Harlow or even Masters Tokyo. But I think it's still going to be really, really good. Um, but yeah, re re really excited to see how... Well, how the uh, obviously how the audience is because, to be fair, we haven't really had some good crowd moments. But that's also, but that's also because uh, most people most people compare Valorant to CS:GO, which is fair enough. I mean, both of them are pretty similar games, so it's completely fair enough. Experiences, so I think that's just uh, some pop up locations all around Los Angeles in August. Plan to stop by by uh, for for an immersive Valorant experience. You're in the dates below. I think this is talking about to make competition a wide variety of Valorant events will pop up, so there'll be events are popping up. So on August thirteenth will be at the Row, uh, which will be at the DTLA, the Giant Robot, which is at Sortel, the Love Hour at Koreatown, and the Forum Fan and the Fanfest at uh, Inglewood, uh, which is the final things required to enter uh, en uh, for entry to Fanfest. Um, I don't know where that is. I'll be honest, but. If you're living in the Los Angeles area, you might probably know where those pla where those places are or what it is. I have no idea, I'll be honest, what it is, I'll be honest. Um, it's just fan fest stuff, you can read upon that as well. Here's, so, the, mostly the Path of Champions, this is basically the roadmap. So we had the International Playoffs Star, the, the League Playoffs, Masters Tokyo, Champions, uh, Qualifiers, Channel Ascension as well. And now we're going to Champions for the final event of this year's VCT season. Um, so, basically, this is, so, how it all started for 16 teams. Nine teams qualified directly into champions by finishing in the top three within their respective international leagues. Four more teams earn, earn an invitation through the three LCQs uh, hosted by, by, by the international leagues. Each LCQ qualify one team with the exception of, of, of EMEA, who earned the right to qualify two teams as a result of Fnatic winning Masters Tokyo. Finally, three teams' representatives from China were selected for champions based on their strong performance at regional tournaments. Now, obviously, that was the top three from the from the China qualifiers, and here obviously are the qualifier teams. We have EG, Loud, and NRG, and NRG from the top three from Americas, and Crew Esports joining them in the, in the Americas LCQ. And then we have uh, Fnatic, Foot, Navi, Team Liquid, and Giants over in EMEA. For Pacific, we have DRX, PaperX, T1, and Z Division from Pacific. And for China, Billy Gaming, Edward Gaming, and Fun Plus Phoenix. Uh, this is what the tournament format looks like. So it essentially is the first time now I'm showing you the uh, the group uh, for yeah the groups. So Group A, we have PaperX versus Crew and Edward Gaming versus Giants. Uh, that'll be that'll be a pretty interesting game, especially Edward Gaming versus Giants. Be worried about Giants, I'll be honest. Uh, group B, we have Evil Geniuses versus Fun Plus Phoenix and Fort versus T1. I think that might be a good match over, though. Fort versus T1. Group C, we have Fnatic versus Zeta. Oh boy. And NRG versus Billy Billy Gaming. And then Group D, which is nicknamed the Group of Death, we have um, the Twins going at it. T uh, Team Liquid versus Navi and DRX versus Lal. So definitely the Group of Death over in Group D. And I don't know what this one is. Oh, okay, so this is the playoffs. Okay, so. Team 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's just how the playoff bracket is going to look like. That's really special. Uh, Champions will begin with a group stage follow, uh, followed by a double elimination bracket stage. Obviously, here's a video of it as well if you want to uh, learn more about it. Uh, the in-game experience. So, there will be some drops coming in. So, on August 4th on 2 to 28th. So, the first one will be the title, which is Low Rider. Um, which obviously you have, to, you have to watch a live game between August 6th and August 13th. It might be it might be pretty difficult for me, I'll be honest, but I'm going to try to get some of these. And then the second one is a spray, which is Gecko Diff. Uh, you have to watch a live game between August 16th to the 25th. And a player car, which is called Champions 2023. Watch a live game on August on August 26th, which is the grand final for Champions. Um, obviously, there's all that sort of stuff there. Uh, to celebrate champions, we've placed references to champions in various er uh, various areas of, of each map, see if you can spot them. It's kind of like what they did with Master with uh, Masters Tokyo, and a bunch of other events as well they did in the past. So nothing really special there. Esports and Client Hub, we're making it easy to get all your VCT info without leaving the Valorant Client uh, experience champions directly in the game, which is pretty nice. There'll be also an event pass and also a collection like, like uh, they've done for um, since the inaugural of 2021. 
And um, this is what the schedule looks like. So first, or ironically, will be Group D, the Group of Death, Team Liquid vs Navi. We'll be starting off along, um, followed by DRX and Loud. And then we're going to, and then from now on, and then from then, we're going to have three matches in one day. Um, up until Friday on August 11th, uh, which will be just two matches a day. Uh, Dark Days includes, August, uh, includes Monday, August 14th, and Tuesday, August 15th. And then right after that will be the schedule for the playoffs. So first will be upper bracket uh, for round one. And then once again, upper bracket again, lower bracket, upper bracket, lower bracket, Dark Days. Upper final, semi lower semi-finals, lower final, and then the grand final um, at last. And so these are all the schedules as well. Well, it's watching obviously you can watch them on Twitch and YouTube, and you can have them. Hopefully, you can do a watch party and stuff. I'm not too sure if I will be doing a watch party, considering that um, I, I'm on the other side of the well, so I'm probably not going to be doing that sadly. Um, but there's obviously many, many channels are going to be watch party of this massive event, especially Tarek, who I'm guessing will be invited into um, into the Kia Forum uh, venue when that occurs. So, yeah, that's really about it. I'll leave a link to this article and the Master's Shanghai article as well down in, down in the description below so you can read it for yourself. So that's really about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a mind as well. Like and subscribe. It would really help me in this channel um, to at least be successful, be uh, do well as well. So, yeah, that's really about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys the next time in the next one. Goodbye.